Hey everybody, it is Michelle. It's Tuesday. It's time for Tuesday Track Talk and um, I am ready to go about some information for this upcoming weekend. Um, holy cow, it is the last weekend of race season already. Um, it's hard to imagine that we've made it this far already. Um, the summer seems like it has flown by and still yet with the temperatures not even really been here so um it's crazy but anyhow so the last weekend's upon us on saturday for the nascar races we are going to start about a half an hour early um so practice will start at 1 30 we're going to qualify at 4 30 and we'll start the first heat race at 5 30 um and the reason behind that is that we're going to try to go ahead and um, hopefully we can get all of the racing in before um, the sun goes down, um, as, as those of you that are racing, um, or as fans know, uh, it's rather difficult the last race of the season, and it is supposed to be overcast on Saturday, so that means it'll be a little bit darker than, than normal. So, um, I'm going to have the schedule posted, uh, for the weekend's event on the event page tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Um, we are going to have sprints this weekend. I'm pretty sure the mini, uh, mini cars will be there. Sorry, my brain is not quite focused on all this stuff, so bear with me. Um, anyhow, so it's going to be a busy day on Saturday. Uh, we're going to start a little bit earlier and see if we can get done and let everybody run all of their laps before the sun goes down. So on Sunday, we're going to attempt to do um, the full points race top eliminator and the Wally race. So it is going to be a very long, busy day. Um, I'll have the schedule for that posted here pretty soon, as soon as I figure it out. There might be some changes as far as um, test and tune runs in the morning, just so that we can start getting everybody in. Um, so just be aware and be flexible. Um, but uh, we'll get it done, hopefully. And uh, We'll have the street races that day. We will have test and tune, so if people are still interested in trying to get out and get some more test and tune passes, that would be cool. Um, hey, everybody. <laughs> it's good to see everybody tuning in. Let's see here. Tickets are available for the banquet online at raceak.com. We have sold about 65 tickets already out of the 190 or so that we've got. So uh, if you want to get tickets, you want to come to the banquet, be sure to get those um early uh, you can also get them at the pit gate this weekend however if you go to the pit gate and you need to pay for your parking and you want to buy tickets and you want to do all that stuff don't do it when you're checking in uh, come in get your tech slips do all that stuff go to your pits and then when the gate is not so busy then come back and see the ladies um, and they'll be happy to take care of you but that way we can keep the flow going and keep cars coming in um, let's see so do yeah do that after the rush that would be super helpful and then um, thank you for the nominations for the awards. If you guys haven't seen that, there's links on our Facebook and on the um, website so you can go in and nominate uh, drivers for uh, Wrench of the Year, Rookie of the Year, um, all of the things. There's all sorts of things. <laughs> and then uh, Cameron, you're not getting seven test and tune passes. You're going to get two when you're going to like it. Um, speaking of Cameron, who's a uh, chiming in there on our little chat session there um some of the responses that i have been getting on the awards nomination have been quite amusing so um it doesn't tell me your name but then sometimes i can kind of figure it out so cameron thanks for your uh the chuckles this morning um but anyhow keep keep the award nominations coming in you have until next friday to get those in so that way we have time to get the awards uh done before the banquet Boat, boat, boat. This is the last weekend to pick up merch. We've got some hoodies, um, shirts, hats, um, all sorts of stuff. If you want to pick up, you know, Christmas presents for people or something, um, you know, you can do all that. There's going to be some great deals on uh, merchandise at the gift shops. So uh, be sure to get in and uh, get those items picked up before it's too late. And let's see, that's, that's all I got. Um, it's going to be super busy this weekend. Um, I want to say thanks to everybody who's been checking in on me and Teddy. Um, as you can tell, I'm still a little bit nasally, but um, have gotten past uh, 
the COVID stuff and um, I'll be back at it this weekend. So, uh, you know, no luck keeping me down, but um, I wasn't able to make the events this weekend. And so I really want to give a big shout out and thank you uh, to my staff um, and our amazing volunteers at the racetrack. Um, you guys know who you are, but um, it's, it's really cool when we have a really big a uh, private event and uh, you know they give me a call and they're like hey everybody took care of everything and it was fantastic so um, so thank you guys very much I really appreciate it and I am very very fortunate to be able to work with such an amazing group of people so uh, when you see them say thank you um, you know it is the end of the season we are doing the employee appreciation dinner on September 18th so if anybody um, has anything special that they want to say to any of the employees or anything like that or if they want to you know I don't know if I'm just throwing it out there if there's something that that you guys want to do for that that's great but otherwise um, you know definitely if you see the staff uh, let them know thank you they did a really good job uh, this season keeping everything going and um, we should uh, I don't know just say thanks those guys are cool so Sean is feeling better too so that's good no, there's no award for the best announcer. Um, I'll leave my smart Alec comments. Sorry, that was almost the first cuss I did on this one, so I'm doing pretty good. So, um, anyhow, I'm going to let all the comments go. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Thanks for checking on us. Um, we will be uh, seeing you at the races this weekend. Uh, Pit Gate's going to open on Friday at like 2 o'clock, so you can start coming out early. Uh, get settled for the weekend and um, everybody keep your fingers crossed for sunshine um, or uh, at least dry weather so that would be super cool um, if I don't see you at the races this weekend um, stay healthy um, stay safe and uh, thanks for tuning in and I will see you next week right here on Tuesday track talk